So, Mooch, how long are you gonna be in LA for? I'm going for about a month and a half. Should be fun. I don't believe I'm telling you this, but I've been in a drought. Girls been just giving me blue walls the last two weeks, but everybody else is landing chicks. Landing them. That's sad. I need me a little light skinned thing. Maybe a few of them. Oh, Lord. Here Mom, you go. I'm sorry. Now you're I trying to be a hoe. This is a joke. Don't Mom. be no hoe. Mom, I ain't gonna Well, hoe. you know what? I'd rather you. This yeah, you gonna is, say this that? It's gonna sound really, really <laughs> jacked up. But. I'd rather you be a hoe than to get married and be a and hoe. break somebody's heart. You know what I'm saying? If you're yeah. gonna be like that, then just be single. That's the point I was trying to make. I don't know. I'm an asshole. Sexy shoes. Oh yeah. This is how you do press. I always wanted to get cool. This is exciting. This whole extravaganza, like now I'm gonna be on Hollywood Boulevard with all the goofballs. It's all surreal to me, you know. You chase a dream and you catch it, it's wild. Downtown I'll let you. I know New York, but it's nice. First stop, Entertainment Tonight, The Insider. Yeah, that's something new. Clever TV just had a good meeting with them. That was fun. Right, Dave? Yeah. On to the next one. I got on the elevator and Common was on the elevator. Common? Common, the rapper. Take a picture with him? No, I ain't taking a picture with him. Oh, boy, I like Common. You can take no picture. I'll get the big guys. We're at the big leagues. What's up? What's up? Good for you, boy. That's crazy. They ain't got a TV show up at Viacom, and we at Viacom. True so, story. True story. Front in the room. Oh, this room is too fancy for me. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I have to get a girl back here. Oh my God, I gotta get a chick back to the room. I'm on my way to an audition. It's been a while. It's last minute. You just gotta be ready. Every single day is the lowest escalator ever. They're not gonna have a teleprompter. Should I practice? I'm gonna practice. Here's our countdown of the five best Ebola memes. We call this one meme, meme, meme. Okay, I'm ready. This was cute, a little pilot that I did. And I'm really like waiting for that real next big gig. You know, you always say that you have to, you want to have everything. You know, you need to have your dream job before you start a family. There's no reason why the baby can't come before the job. Does, there doesn't have to be a specific order. You can have both. So with that said, I mean, I could jump fucking from subject to subject, but our lease is coming up, and I'm trying to figure out what it is that we should do. Like, what, you want to move? Well, I feel like we're running out of space, and I feel like it'd be nice to get, like, a nice, I don't know, kind of adult place where we could see ourselves really, like, spending a long time at. Like a grown-up apartment. Like a grown-up apartment. Like a grown-up apartment. Like apartment. Grown apartment. Yeah. Just have crazy, wild, bondage sex. <laughs> I love you. I love you. You're beautiful. Moving day! We are doing this. Have you ever seen anybody with more shit? Oh, these are so I can handcuff her. Where should we keep the handcuffs? Next to the bathroom. Garbage. Garbage. Oh. This is garbage. No, that's not garbage. That's for my pills, honey. You are a fucking hoarder. I'm not a hoarder!
How many shape things do we have? This. That's because I buy, I buy them in California Sweet. and then I buy them Need here. This? I haven't used this yet. I'm fucking killing you. <laughs> Not a hoarder. I need some coffee. Um, guys, coffee? Ready? Yep. Josh and I decided to move upstairs to a better apartment in the building. We're literally making our little house a home. I think it looks beautiful. It looks like a dream. Do you think we're really grown-ups now? Like this is, we're grown-ups now, right? We're 34. If we're not growing up by now, when are we gonna grow up? Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. How exciting. We were thinking about having a romantic Valentine's Day with the baby. Things are different now. The priorities are different. Life as we know it is different. But after six long weeks, tomorrow, we could finally have sex. How does it feel to be deprived of sex? Come on, you are gonna really have these conversations? Yeah. Wouldn't you be scared to have sex with me after a child? Why am I gonna be scared? Don't you scared. think it would feel crazy? No, women don't have sex after they have children. They stop having sex. No, not forever, but you think immediately after you can have sex? I don't get it. Is your libido down? My libido is never down, I bitch. Have, I don't have that problem. What do you mean you don't have that problem? I have other options. Like what? Well, like a jerk off in the shower. I don't know what you want me to tell you. What could my other options be, babe? I'm saying like, how deprived would you be? Yeah, of course I'd be very deprived. I'd probably have some sex pains. I don't know. Blue balls? No, what balls? Do your balls actually turn blue? I don't know anybody that that's ever happened to. Do you know what else is a theory? My mother told me. Lunar balls. This is a first. <laughs> this is a first. I've heard of, you know, obviously blue balls, we don't know what that is. But. Lunar balls is the male equivalent of getting your period. So that's when, like, if your man is being a fucking bitch, it's probably got <laughs> lunar balls. You walk with the baby. I love him so much. This is my cousin, Noonie. My cousin and I grew up together, and she and I made the same mistake, and we married <laughs> too young, and then it didn't work out, so then we got a divorce. <laughs> Jesus, okay, so we're here actually today um, for a meeting for my sister's baby shower, slash, I kinda want everybody to see my apartment. All right, let's get to cooking. Okay, babe, I can't find the, the plug for that. Where is it? I'm camera lady today. Martin wants to find the plug. You can tell who does the cooking him. in this house. Thank God I have him. Woo, there we go. Woo! <laughs> Bad vibes leave. Look at my little sister. Big belly. Her belly's not wow. No, it's beautiful. By the way, Lisa and her boyfriend really broke up now. Woo! Let me make mojitos. Oh, babe, look at you. You want bananas on there too? He loves cooking and I love it. Thank God, right? Girl, <laughs> so wonderful. Josh is like the perfect man. That's why he makes the perfect husband. What did you say? He said, I will marry him. I know. <laughs> I will marry him. <laughs> That's all I like. No, it's not. Ready for bed? Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Yeah. I could give two fucks about it, but uh, you know, everybody's in love today, whatever. It'd be nice when I get some vagina. That's that's basically all I want. I haven't got a morsel of vagina since I've been out here. A, a morsel. I haven't got nothing. I had one girl at the hotel tell me, you're beautiful, I don't want your number because I'm gonna get too attached. What? I don't know. Like nasty chicks, but why do they gotta have so much goddamn story with them?
You look great back there. Looking good. Looking good. You have a good job? Indeed. This is how you do it. Yes. See that? She's so loud. <laughs> I feel 17 all over again. We was part of ways after the skating ring. It didn't go further. But I'm kind of glad it didn't go further. I'm going to tell you why. Because she was fucking gorgeous. That's why she was gorgeous to me. Like, she had the, the, the big curly hair, light skin, freckles. Oh, gosh, she was bubbly. She was fun. She let me she let, she let me hold her waist. You know, we was holding hands on the skating ring. I'm sitting there like, this ain't how special friendships start. This is how that love shit start. Yeah. I'll just be in with my men today on Valentine's Day, the day of love, and I plan on drinking heavily. I love you. Cheers to first drinks after pregnancy. This morning, at seven in the morning, Stefano said to me, roses, why at seven in the morning? I don't know, here are my roses. And Stefano bought me a gift, which I've been dying to open. It's from Ralph Lauren. I think he got me a diaper bag because I don't have one. We'll just have to wait and see. So I'm filling out my Valentine's Day cards for Stefano. Okay. Having a child with you has truly shown me we are soulmates. I love you more today than I did when I thought I loved you most. We have created so many amazing things together that I am so proud of, and I cannot wait to continue to create a life with you. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm dying to know what's in this box. This is from home. Open it. Uh, it's from the baby. Yeah. Thank you for loving me the way only you can. I am so thankful to have you as my dad. I love you. Stefanino. Aww. Very nice. Very special. Thank you, buddy. I tell you to open my now. Yeah, of course. What do you need? I thought it was a diaper bag. <laughs> this is amazing. I like it. I love it. You deserve it. You know, all the hard work and all the nice things you do for me. I think you deserve it for giving me a beautiful child. This guy over here. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm like not even giving you a kiss because I'm so excited. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna get ready for our big night. Thank you. You're welcome. I love my bed. It is so cold outside. You cannot even see the city. I got these flowers. To the love of my life. Happy Valentine's Day. Love, Josh. Beautiful. Let's see here. Oh, it's pretty! Time to make a sexy dinner. I want to show Josh how much I love him. And although I am apprehensive of the whole marriage concept. I have to think about him. I don't know, maybe Josh feels like, do I love him enough? Or, because she doesn't want to do this, am I gonna leave? I'm carrying all this baggage and Josh is literally paying for my mistakes. And he does not deserve that. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, baby, it looks great. Mm. Here. Let's make love, right? No, we're not going to make love. I cooked all day. No. No, you said no. Can <laughs> you just skip to dessert? No. Mm. Do you remember the last time that we had sex? <laughs> Welcome to parenthood. Let us eat a little bit. Yes. Happy Valentine's, sir. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Day. Okay. Okay. So that's called life as we know it. Five minutes before we're interrupted again. I know. 
We've been interrupted again. <laughs> so what do you miss about us, really? Like just laying on the couch together, like cuddling and watching a movie and really having nothing else on our mind, but just the fact that like we're together, yeah. right? I miss us going out. Partying. Partying, the weekends away. You know, we just, we just don't get up in the morning anymore and like, you know, naked, <laughs> you know, it's not. Naked morning. <laughs> Down there, everything's all right. Have you been dying? Nina, it's been a long time. <laughs> Thank God I find this guy attractive. Because sometimes your personality leaves much to be desired. I'm a good looking guy, I know. You remember the girl from the roller skating ring? Just hit me up on that late night. Just left work, so for two. Not just sitting on the patio. Want company? Sure. What's your address? You want Taco Bell? Oh my God. And watch she not sleep with me. I guarantee it. She's not going to sleep with me. She's going to tease me. She's going to tease me. But I'd rather have her be here than me be alone. What? But I'm going to get teased. She's going to tease my dick. Oh God. It stinks. Whatever. She's coming over. Doodle back. What? The stars are aligning. The stars are aligning. <sighs> she brought Taco Bell. That's some real East Coast PA shit. That's I'm glad I'm stuffing my fish right now. Hey, ma. Yeah. I'm just walking home from this quote unquote date. You went on a date on Valentine's Isn't that like so against my whole, isn't that weird? Yeah, it is. We I went out, but I like her, but she don't like my views. She's down for the relationship and me being 30, I should have tried it already. You're on a date, you like the girl, but you start telling her how you don't want a relationship. What did you expect her to do? I don't know, because I'm trying to, I'm, see, I'm not going to lie to him. I'm not going to lie to him because it's, it's not, I can see if I was that guy. What the heck? Don't lie. Don't tell him you don't want to be in a relationship. It's just like you're not willing to commit. You're right. I guess I'm sorry it didn't work out, but you didn't want it to work out, so. Uh-huh. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right. Valentine's Day, my ass. I guess we're over the whole going out thing. Table. We're practically a married couple. So, will you marry me? We don't need the piece of paper. <laughs> we are a married couple. Why do you think you, you need it? I don't know. I've always had the dream of, you know, the picket fence, the dog, the two kids, you know, the wife, <clears throat> the American dream. Something special about it. And of course, I'd love to share that with you. You deserve to have a wedding. I want you to get even closer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, turn off the lights. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm sitting with one of the girls that I came up in, but just half the struggle, not even the whole struggle. Miss Yamanika Saunders. How are you, boo? Oh, I'm good. How are you? It's good to see you. <laughs> I'm not gonna ever take a chance on a bullshit relationship. You gotta take a chance on love. Take a chance Fuck on love. Fuck that. Girls don't, they're not fun. When I'm by myself, I have the most fucking fun. When I'm with a chick, it's when it's not fun no more. I know I'm gonna be stressing the fuck out because I gotta deal with your shit and my shit and comedy shit. Why you whispering, she in the car? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm just bad at it, man. I'm just, I, You're like, not bad at it. You're just scared of going up. Start working on yourself and finding out what you want out of life. I want to get on stage. But the stage can't hold you at night. Stage has never held me at night. A lot of lonely, cold sheets, nigga, but at least the sheets are clean. I hope the Lord blesses you with at least two or three daughters. You just cursed me. That's what you did. 
Yeah, I call it a blessing. You, you call bless it, it, you call it a blessing. You just curse me. That's what it is. I don't want kids. I want a career, man. Love stinks. It does. So let me just get out of here while I can. Valentine's Day 2015. And right on cue. Okay, okay. I didn't expect that to happen. Happy Valentine's Day. You made it the best Valentine's Day. This is life. This is the best. Thanks for watching Connected. Make sure you subscribe to AOL Originals for all new episodes and exclusive behind the scenes footage. Does anyone know where everyone goes, where everyone's running? I will run for you. I'm gonna do my time. I'm gonna face the crime. Whenever you show like river that flows, I'm suddenly living And I will die for you I'm looking for your trace But you keep changing place You say is all that I'm hearing But I couldn't play your tune I wish I had no fear